Hi everyone, welcome to my view of David Dobkin's Wedding Crashes in 2005. Um, so, a review of a film that I saw, yeah, I've seen once before, you know, and I've seen it many, many years ago now, actually. And yeah, basically, I um, wanted to rewatch it. Um, and yeah, you know, this is a, a fairly acclaimed film, actually, you know, for a comedy. You know, it's got 7 on MDB, um, and actually, you know, 70-something on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, so, it is acclaimed, you know, by the critics, and it is quite popular, you know, by fans. Um, done very very well at the box office you know and um yeah owen wilson i always i usually love owen wilson in films um vince vaughn you know for the most part i do as well uh, he's been in some great stuff um there's times where he's not you know he isn't great but um because he's been in so many things you know so many comedies that of course there is the um that's always going to happen you know um most of the time <coughs> but vince vaughn when he's on form um really is amazing um actually and, you know, recently as well, Hacksaw Ridge, you know, a dramatic role, um, was great in that. Um, so, yeah, these two get together um, and, you know, it's a comedy that, um, a comedy romance. Um, and basically, yes, yeah, the clues in the name for the plot, um, Wedding Crashes, um, you know, Jeremy and John, um, played uh, by Owen Wilson, uh, Vince Vaughn, <coughs> you basically are um, divorce uh, mediators and in their spare time, um, they crash weddings. Um, and, you know, after a whole season of crashing weddings, um, quite early on, you know, you see all this, um, the, the crash of the weddings, um, you see them going through the motions in that sense. And then, you know, <clears throat> at the end of that, Owen Wilson basically says, this is going to be a big one. Um, and basically they end up um, at a wedding of um, one of Christopher Walken, who plays uh, William in the film, one of his uh, daughters. And uh, they end up there and um, in that wedding they meet um, the two other daughters, um, played by Ida Fisher and... Rachel McAdams and basically you know it unfolds from there the rest of the film is mainly centered around this whole family um, led by Christopher Walken um, and Jane Seymour as well as in the film um, and you've got Bradley Cooper who's basically Rachel McAdams' um, yeah basically partner and um, yeah he you could say he's the villain of the film um, now you know um, a sack now he is probably um, I've never been um, I've never hated basically a character that Bradley Cooper has played so much as in this film. In a good way though, um, you know, because he really is, you know, you love to hate him. He is just one of the most annoying, you know, in terms of you just wanting to leave them alone kind of thing, uh, characters in a comedy. Uh, you know, just the way he's constantly at these guys um, throughout the film and kind of getting in the way of, of, of what they're trying to achieve here. It really is a testament actually to Bradley Cooper though, because he's a um, great performance actually in this film. Um, you know, you could say it's... You know, it's not completely a uh, complex character or anything, but really for what he is trying to be. Um, great performance, and um, yeah, uh, he adds a lot of the you know the drama to the film. And as well, Christopher Walken, you know, a very complex character, actually. He plays of William, um, you know, at first as well. You know, he doesn't trust these guys, um, and, you know, he becomes more and more um, interesting and complex over the film. Um, Christopher Walken, you know, um, one of my favourite actors, and... The Deer Hunter, you know, um, just one of the very best performances in cinema. Um, and it's always <coughs> kind of, um, hard to describe, but kind of weird to see Christopher Walken, you know, in a film that isn't a Deer Hunter. It's just because it's such, you know, a big role and one that is just so um, intense, you know, that he's never really <coughs> played a role that is as intense as this um, ever again, you know. And he's, he's been in things like Pulp Fiction, of course. <coughs> very iconic performances. Um, but none of, none of them are actually, you know, match this level of intensity and, um, you know, kind of power that he's ever, you know, in the deer hunter. But yeah, you've basically, you've got loads of great, you know, this is a great ensemble uh, piece. And, um, you know, you may think <coughs> from the, the title, Wedding Crashers, uh, this, you know, would be a film um, not to be taken seriously. You know, it could well have been a film, <coughs> you know, poor taste. Um, it could have been handled really, really badly. And it could have been one of them films that I just got pissed off at. Um, but, you know, surprisingly, you know, when I watched this for the first time, quite a few years ago now, I thought, wow, that's actually really good. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot deeper than I thought it would be. Uh, you know, it's, it's much better writing. And, um, you know, now, um, you know, this, you know, the second watch <coughs> of this film all the way through, um, you know, I can actually say this is a great comedy. And um, surprisingly as well, <coughs> you know, this time around, I actually noticed um, how well this film shot you know, for a comedy as well. You know, I, not <coughs> to insult the comedy genre and you know it's mainly modern comedies but yeah you know um of course that doesn't apply to you know all the chaplin films and different because that isn't the case they're some of the best shot films of, you know of all time but 
a lot of the films, <coughs> you know, now comedy films, um, and you know, it, it's not necessarily a, a, a really awful thing, but you know, a lot of them aren't actually um, really. <coughs> Yeah, there's just not much of attention to really the actual cinematography a lot of the time and actually how well, you know, they are made um, visually and everything. Um, and yes, it's more about the script, which you could say is the most important thing in a comedy, you know, but um, as well as timing uh, from the actors. But really, um, this one is actually um, really, really well shot and directed. You know, the editing is really good. Um, so it's got um, a great script, you know, it's got really amazing characters actually for the most part. And, you know, the, uh, Jeremy and John in particular, of course, um, and it's got, you know, just a, a film that mixes comedy and um, drama and then eventually, you know, romance that develops over time um, and, you know, they take the time to kind of develop uh, all the relationships. You know, it is, it is much more of a comedy at first. Um, the first half an hour is less, you know, them kind of crashing weddings um, that aren't actually pivotal to, to the actual main, you know, film, the rest of the film, um, when you come into contact with these this family. And, you know, it just kind of um, allows you to see them kind of you could say just messing about, <clears throat> but through this you kind of, you get to know them, um, and then, you know, once it, it kind of becomes more serious um, as the film goes on, you know, once they, <clears throat> you know, um, meet uh, Rachel McAdams' as character and Isla Fisher, you know, these two characters, Gloria and Claire, um, you know, it just, um, <clears throat> you know, it actually takes itself a lot more seriously, and these two romances, you know, between Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson and then the two, <clears throat> you know, um, women in the film, it really does um, actually get really well developed, um, some romances that I really care for. Yeah, the Vince Vaughn one is a lot more comedy, you know, you could say. Awkward situations, you know, and stuff, and really shocking stuff, actually, at times. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's very well done, but it is, you know, a lot more um, comedy. And then the, the other one, you know, Rachel McAdams and Owen Wilson's romance is a lot more serious, you know, traditional, and, um, you know, there's a lot, got a lot more drama involved in there. Um, but yeah, basically, as the film goes on, you know, Bradley Cooper, <laughs> you know, becomes suspicious of these two characters, <coughs> you know, Owen Wilson um, and Vince Vaughn play, and basically, yeah, um, frictions rise, but also the romances develop, and, um, <coughs> you know, just the um, the kind of uh, comedy sequences in this film, a lot of the time are just great, and uh, add to that, you, you kind of got this um, really, really well written <coughs> and um, defined family, um, you know, that kind of, and their house, even the locations and everything, um, the way it's kind of captured, you know, and set up, it's just really great. And it's really quite meaningful, actually, you know, and the dynamics for the family, you know, really work. Um, it's quite striking, actually. To, yes, I know, I'm saying for a comedy, it's not, um, but even on its own, you know, it kind of, just the way this, um, how memorable all the characters are in the family, um, even the, just the side ones, you know, and, um, you know, you could say even the, the, the butler and stuff, you know, is, is really memorable in the film. And you, you've got really, really uplifting moments. With the Owen Wilson and Rachel McAdams um, kind of romance, um, and you've got, um, of course, really awkward comedy as well with the, the kind of Gloria and um, you know <coughs> the Vince Vaughn characters um, romance in the film as well. Um, but as well, you know, it's not um, a one that's uh, you know completely meaningless. Um, it does actually as well develop into something that is um, what I actually cared for in the end. And uh, yeah, <coughs> you know, the first um, half an hour I have some flaws. You know, just. It is a bit over the top um, at times, just a bit. Um, you know, the tone is <coughs> pretty consistent though in that half an hour, and um, there's nothing, you know, that distracting, but it isn't, <coughs> you know, um, the heights of the rest of the film. And it does, there's a couple of moments where the two of them kind of, and just the, the kind of comedy involved there does go a bit over the top. Um, as well, <coughs> you know, the, the opening scene, um, not really a great opening scene. Um, and, you know, <coughs> it doesn't always matter to me this, but it doesn't really. Um, fit to the rest of the film, you know, it doesn't really mean anything really at all um, in the context of the rest of the film. Yes, it's kind of showing what their, you know, their actual jobs are, and then you see what they do in their spare time. But, you know, I just think um, they were kind of going for something there as well, I think the writers. But I don't think it quite, you know, landed as well as it should have done. Um, and, you know, there's a couple of moments where Isla Fisher, you know, she's really good in the film, very enjoyable. Um, you know, her character um, at times goes a bit over the top as well. You know, just come some of the imperfections in the comedy there, but really, you know, even even Isla Fisher, you know, in this film actually for the most part, is really good, and um, you know, she pulls it off well. Um, the rest of the cast, you know, as well, are consistently very very good. At times, you know, great. Owen Wilson gives a really, at times, dramatic performance, um, and yeah, I think Christopher Walken as well, you know, really really good performance. 
Rachel McAdams is very good in this film, um, you know, in a dramatic role. Um, you know, again, a couple of bits <clears throat> you know, early on when she's introduced, um, when she's laughing in the church, that's a bit, um, you know, out of tone. But really, the rest of the film, <clears throat> she's really good, actually. Um, and, you know, just uh, combine this with the writing, <clears throat> you know, and the actual, the way the romances are set up. And you've got one uh, that really I did care for. And uh, at the same time, um, was really, really... Um, hilarious film um, for the most part <clears throat> it kind of got funnier and funnier and it also got more serious at times as well and uh, more dramatic and it came together really amazingly well actually um, so yeah I think <clears throat> as well just the, the actual um, cinematography in this film as I've said um, it's really nice you know it's, <clears throat> it's quite uplifting um, just sweet you know sweet uh, film and uh, the way it's captured <clears throat> you know the visuals just really nice and light um, and you know just um, just really quite at times um, you know sophisticated um, in my opinion and uh, the way it's edited as well <clears throat> you know at times it's very just subtle editing at times and um, just really really well made comedy and um, a one I really just a film I actually did love in the end so overall I think I'd have to give Wedding Crashers um, a 93% <clears throat> now that is very very high especially for a um, modern comedy and that's not me being <clears throat> you know a hater or anything and it's not me, me being you know kind of um, trying to be different or anything but comedies you know modern comedies for me you know personally are along with horrors a lot of modern horrors just the worst kind of um that cinema overall has to offer <clears throat> you know there is some great stuff out there and i never discount ones that do come along including this um but generally you know the, the amount of um bad comedies you know and um <clears throat> you know horrors as well but comedies you know all the unfortunately adam Sandler films um you know Apart from Punch and Glove, you know, because that is a stunning film. I'll review that at some point. Um, but really, the, the comedies of Adam Sandler really, you know, aren't good at all. They're, they're some of the worst films of all time. You know, Jack and Jill, all this kind of stuff. And just comedies, you know, a lot of the time now. You know, just aren't, they aren't that great, you know, overall. Um, it's a genre that really, it is quite lazy, you know, and it's just a lot of the modern traits. The bad modern traits of cinema comes through a lot of comedies and, you know, horrors as well. But it's just... Stuff a lot of the time that just can't be taken seriously at all. This one, you know, is really, um, when it needs to be, really taken seriously. Um, very human film. Um, you know, it's the one that, you know, I really cared for the, you know, the romances. And, you know, the one with Owen Wilson and Rachel McAdams. Um, it's kind of, it's really, really compelling, actually, as well. And you've got the kind of, um, the Bradley Cooper, uh, Zach, um, kind of interfering, you know, getting in the way of this. Um, you could say he's a villain of the film. And, you know, it just... That's for some really, really compelling stuff. And uh, also, you know, of course, very, very funny throughout the entire film, really. Hilarious um, comedy. The timing, uh, you know, the performances. Um, Vince Vaughn can, you know, a lot of the time get away with over-the-top um, stuff. Um, and he really, for the most part, he does in this. You know, he really pulls it off. Owen Wilson, you know, a lot more restrained, um, subtle. Um, I did prefer uh, Vince Vaughn in this film. But both are great. And, you know, Owen Wilson actually gives a really good... Um, you know, at times, great dramatic performance. Um, Rachel McAdams, um, really amazing at times in this film. Isla Fisher as well, plays a part, <coughs> for the most part, really well. And then you've got Christopher Walken, Jane Seymour. You know, they really add um, loads to the film. And um, <coughs> as well, it's the subtle um, subtle acting of Christopher Walken at times as well, towards the end of the film. It just really is something um, <coughs> quite meaningful, actually. And, um, of course, Will Ferrell, <laughs> his appearance at the end is just... Um, Hilarious, you know, and it could have been handled badly that bit. But, you know, luckily, um, the actual uh, performances and the writing was, you know, <coughs> kind of, um, yeah, it was it was sincere and it didn't mean any harm, really, by what they done there. And, you know, overall, this film has got a lot of heart. Um, that's the thing that really um, I loved about this film is the heart, the warmth of it, um, <coughs> the kind of charm. And, you know, really, um, the uplifting uh, nature of a lot of the stuff in the film and... Uh, just all the relationships in the entire film, really, I loved, <coughs> mostly. And, um, you know, it wasn't off to the greatest of starts, um, the first half an hour. But, you know, um, still very good at that point. But the rest of the film, I could say, is actually great. Um, and both hilarious and uh, really, <coughs> actually, for what it was, um, really compelling. And actually one I did care for a lot. Um, so 93 from me is amazing. You know, <coughs> the score that I've given it, um, very, very high for me. And... Um, yeah, it's just even better than when I watched it quite a few years ago. And um, as it stands, um, a little bit underrated actually still for me. Um, I think it's a great film. And if you've not seen it, 
highly recommend it. And you know, if you have seen it, uh, yeah, discuss in the comments because um, I really love this film. And you know, it's not a masterpiece. <clears throat> you know, it's it's nothing like that. And it's nothing that will really, um, you know, it's nothing truly, <clears throat> you know, one of the best comedies or anything. But it is actually among the best. Or at least my favourites of the 2000s, um, and it has got flaws, um, you know, it doesn't reach anything masterful, but, you know, it is a great film for me, and um, I did love it, uh, most of the film, and uh, yeah, great film, you know, really, really well directed, of course, and short and edited, um, so yeah, thanks for watching my review, and um, the next up, actually, um, one of my next reviews will be Tangled, um, the Disney film that I watched for the first time all the way through, tonight and um, yes uh, wait for that review and you know it's quite a popular one so um, yeah I look forward to that and I won't reveal anything yet but yeah <coughs> thanks for watching my review of Wedding Crashers <laughs>